Well, after months of speculation and rumours, today we started to get a real sense of the government's plans for the future of the armed forces. They've been carrying out a defence review, which the Prime Minister describes as modernising the military and giving it the tools it needs to face the many threats that we're under in the modern age. In terms of how this could impact on our local region, well, it's likely to be short-term pain for long-term gain. We're told that two of Plymouth's oldest warships, HMS Montrose and HMS Monmouth, could be retired. But this may be offset by the promise of more frigates and more destroyers here at the Devonport dockyard. Earlier, I spoke to Plymouth military expert Ian Ballantyne, and he told me it's a tricky balancing act, but he expects the Devonport dockyard to play a key role in the UK's defence strategy going forward. What you hope is that they make up for the shortfall in work on Type 23s for the Devonport dockyard with getting on with um, the new Type 26 city class frigates which are due to be based in Plymouth. Uh, and that's a few years down the road, so there's bound to be a gap in what you might call frontline availability of frigates and also um, with getting new warships into service to replace the ones that are still going to be in commission. Well, Plymouth is a city with a proud naval history. You can see behind me HMS Albion currently alongside. But clearly things are changing. We know that the Stonehouse Barracks down the road will close by 2027 as it's no longer fit for purpose. We're expecting to hear today that the Royal Marines could form a new special commando force. Where that force will be based is not yet clear. Here's local historian Chris Robinson on why Plymouth's armed forces need to move with the times. The Union Street mentality where you had uh, uh, bootnecks and squaddies and, and sailors mixing, that's, that's all gone and will never return. And the images that were familiar to so many older citizens where you got uh, men in uniform walking around the area, that, that obviously went in the 70s with the, the Northern Ireland issues. So it has changed massively. Uh, but then the way that we fight has changed and what, the way that we need to, to service that ha has changed. Well, the government is keen to stress that the world is changing and the nature of the threats we face is changing too. There's likely to be more emphasis on science and technology, which could come at the expense of more traditional fighting methods. What many people here in Plymouth will be keen to hear is some sort of reassurance that the city is still a key part of that changing military landscape. Sam Blackledge, ITV News in Plymouth.